Hey, I just want to show you that I have the new Yes album. I'm trying to do that thing they do in comic books where, like, the person's holding, it's like forced, forced perspective where somebody's holding something, like, forward and, like, their, their face is, like, way back here. So I'm not sure if it actually works in real life or if I'm even doing it right, but here I am, here I am way back here and the, the Yes CD in my hand is, like, way up there. Maybe that works. I don't know. I'll, I'll see when I... Yeah, never mind. <clears throat> so, yes, I, I, have, I have the new Yes album, which is not exactly new. Um, but it's pretty new. And if, if Dave doesn't know about this already, then his, he's likely to say, Hey, there cannot be a new Yes album because Chris Squire is no longer here. And so, no, you, you, can, you cannot have a new Yes album. That is not, not okay. Not allowed. Um, except that um, this does have Chris Squire on it. And so there are not new recordings, it's from 2010, something like that. Uh, this was put out from recordings uh, that Oliver Wakeman did when he was with the band. So the story goes that uh, Oliver was touring with the band in the late 2000s decade, and uh, they had started on the album that we know now know as Fly From Here and they said well who's gonna who's gonna produce this album let's get Trevor Horn oh, okay yeah that'd be great and then they all went their separate ways for like a month or so and then when it time came time for them to rejoin again apparently Trevor Horn said well we don't want to use Oliver Wakeman we want to use uh, Jeff Downs you know obviously since you know the two of them worked together and so um, Trevor Horn apparently was the reason that Oliver Wakeman was out and Jeff Downs was back in, which is not necessarily a good thing. So this is uh, called From a Page, and you can only get it on this one website. You can't get it on Amazon or anything like that. I think it's called BurningShed.com or BurningBarn.com, something like that. It's actually a 3D CD set. Um, the studio tracks, there's only four of them. Even though, apparently, Oliver Wakeman had uh, helped them write some of the songs that ended up on the Fly From Here album. Um, but these are ones that he had the recordings to, these, these four tracks. And they're about the same quality. You know, it's not great, um, but it's, it's something. And so there's one CD of just four tracks, four studio tracks on there. Um, and then... There are two discs of them performing live, which is that's kind of nice. Uh, the you know we didn't re don't really have a document of that particular little sub era there. So it has Benoit David uh, singing and Oliver Wakeman on keyboards, and so they were able to do a lot of songs like uh, Machine Messiah and Tempest Fugit and things like that that they hadn't done since the drama era. So this first one has like the most proggy sounding stuff to the moment. So a little bit of riffing going on there, that's kind of nice. And then more to the point, um, a lot of the keyboard playing by Oliver Wakeman sounds just like his father, and so it sounds a lot more yes, yes -y, yes ish than, than uh, Fly From Here or Heaven and Earth. I like it. What are you making that noise for? So that was some nice synthesizer stuff, and he also does piano that sounds like his father Rick. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, so that's nice. Alright, so that's very typical yes sounding stuff there. So the significant thing about this release is I'm, I'm pretty sure this is probably the, the last um, bit of yes material with Chris Squire on it that we are likely to see, uh, at least in, in any quantity. Even though it's not that much and it's not super exciting, um, it's at least something.